this building will be a, a school that will have about 60 students and uh, it's a business uh, internship site. Uh, we'll have about 60 students here and then businesses will apply to come here. And they won't have to pay rent. Uh, they will have to pay the utilities, sort of like a triple net here to be here to share the cost. And one of the big catches is that they will have to take on one or two students any time they're here in this, in this building. And the kids will rotate through all the different businesses to get an experience of what it's like uh, to be in business. And, um, and then we're going to ask those uh, business owners to also teach some classes for us, uh, for those kids, so they can see what business is really like. When I saw that, that it was surplus property, I contacted our folks at the uh, uh, Federal Department of Education, said that we were interested, and that we've had some history with them because we have the Mount Diablo site too that was federal property. Um, and so we ended up um, writing a proposal to do this business type school, and uh, they thought that that would work out, and so now we have it. And the way it goes is, We'll get it for 30 years as an educational uh, facility, and it has to be used for educational purposes. We have to maintain the historical integrity of the building, which is really key for us. And, um, and then after 30 years, whoever is the county superintendent and the county board, then they will end up owning this uh, and can do basically whatever they want, but uh, it could never really sell it. And, if, and it is a historical landmark, so it's going to be protected forever. And we renovated these. Uh this area for a classroom space. We're um, at this point projecting about three classes of approximately 20 students each, 60 students, but we have some small rooms on the side for some breakout areas, opportunities for counseling, um, interviewing, interviewing could be career choices, career counseling, uh, maybe where employers could come in and interview students uh, once they've gone through a cycle here and gained a number of um, job skills. Uh, so we, we really looked at laid this out with uh, you know plan for the future too. And anything historical that we, we will not um, uh, alter or touch and we'll work with. You know the facade with all the elevations and the details that they did here? All by hand and just in the detail down to just the smallest of Again, the key, and I, you know, say over and over, is to find the right business partners who will be our educational partners.